sharp, sharp. Uh, all right, so uh, she is on hold. How about that? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the program. With breaking news, Iggy, you've done it again, sir. I'm well, she did it. Quick. She said yes. The great Brianna, well, you had to ask. You had to put the puck on the net in order to score, brother. Brianna, good morning. Good morning. I am, uh, <laughs> I am so excited to hear what the development is. We saw your tweet that you are heading to Los Angeles next week. Uh, what are you doing in Los Angeles? <laughs> Um, well, I haven't seen anything that, like, I can't share, um, but I'm going to be on with Adam22 and Lena the Plug. Doug, that is a huge moment. That is a monster podcast. Jackson, <laughs> yeah, d d tell the audience about Adam's about podcast and their reach. Uh, Lena the Plug and Adam22, it's one of the bigger podcasts, certainly, in this industry. Um, and they are, yeah, Adam22 has been interviewing top-tier rappers for Ten years, and Lena the Plug is obviously very well known in the adult section. So uh, they do a—they're married, and they do a podcast together, and it's massively popular. Massively popular. Yeah. Hmm. Do you have any uh, other meetings set up while you're in Los nice Angeles? Nice question, Iggy. You're having a huge nine o'clock hour. <laughs> um. So right now, no. Um. I am gonna do like a professional photo shoot while I'm out there. Um. Yeah. I kind of just all like transpired yesterday and I'm I'm super excited. So Any plans to become a tushy girl? Uh you know we've been discussing it. Um but I mean it's still up, you know, like in the air. Um we haven't made a final decision if that's like the route that I want to go. Um but yeah the opportunity's there. We just kinda have to see where it takes us. Doug, you ever think in your career you'd ask that question and then get a serious answer? And I don't even know what it means. I, I don't even know what it means. When you were studying journalism at Missouri. <laughs> no. What no. it means, Doug, is uh, there's a good chance uh, you could become a millionaire overnight. That's what being a tushy girl means. I think you might. I, here's the thing, Brianna. I think you might know that you guys are millionaires now. Um, I cannot confirm that, but I mean... It's <laughs> been, um, yeah, it's, I guess, close, I can say. <laughs> you know how many followers you've picked up since yeah. you came on our C show? Because when you were on with us, uh, I guess that was two weeks ago, and then they wrote about it in the New York Post, you were at about 1,500. What is the number now? Of subscribers? Yes. About 30,000. Oh. That's the power of TMA oh, right there. My God! The power of TMA. You gotta be effing kidding me! You're at thirty thousand <laughs> subscribers, and that fifteen hundred. Some of those are paying ten dollars a month, but then you upped it to twenty dollars a month, and you're at thirty thousand subscribers at twenty dollars a month. Doug, are you gonna be able to do the math? I can't do it. Do we get like twenty percent? I this? think we do get a cut. I do okay. believe thirty thousand. Is anybody doing the math on That's it? Seven point two a year. Oh my god! Seven point two million a year, if, Doug. It's time to show for our holes. heaven's sakes. Thirty thousand times twenty times twelve. Now I want to become a tushy girl. <laughs> Cut that off. Oh my god! So how do you feel about this? I mean, holy crap! A month ago, you were you were teaching and doing this on the side, and now you got this going. Yeah, it's it's been crazy. Um, there's, I mean, there's been a lot of ups and downs, and like just trying to handle all the new pressure and. Um, just everything business wise and oh man, there's been a lot, but I'm really excited. So no, it's going well. Thank you so much, St. Clair School District. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thanks to that holier than thou troll on social media. You just made me seven million dollars. Mm -hmm piss off uh let me let me ask you this because i felt like you were kind of deciding whether or not to pursue it you know you and your husband were talking because i gather you guys have a family and so and then your parents siblings whomever his parents siblings i don't know what the situation was but you were debating whether or not to go all out with this take advantage of being reached out to by these bigger companies that could put you on the map or yeah. or step back it sounds like you are going to go all out if you are appearing on that podcast because that has a huge following. I mean, at 30, if you're at 30,000 subscribers now, you might be at 60,000 by the time you're done with that show. It might be more. Mm -hmm. right. 14 million yeah. a year. Um, I mean, yeah, we're definitely, um, we're not really backing down. We're just trying to, you know, weigh the 
I don't know, pros and cons of every opportunity that, that comes our way. And um, I'm super excited. I've, I've never, I've been to California, but I've never been to L.A., so that'll be fun. Uh, <laughs> but now, here's one of the things, and, and, and Doug, I know you've watched a lot of uh, Lena the Plug's podcast, so you know this, but maybe the rest of our audience doesn't. What happens on that program is they do a little interview, which is what we do on the Tim McKernan Show podcast, sure. at least we used to. Yeah. But unlike the end of the Tim McKernan Show podcast, where I'd say, thank you for joining me, Adam then bangs his guest. <laughs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> is that what's going to happen to you? Well, I, I, I have the opportunity to be with both of them. Oh, you've already done it? And, and him. No, like, like that, that's what will happen, like her and him and me. <laughs> oh, wow. Huh. I just like to salute the United States of America and our founding fathers yeah. that this is possible in this country. Mm -hmm. I bet that article in the New York Post helped too to reach all those the New Yorkers. Yeah, that was clips from our show too. Yeah, <laughs> Doug, we did it yeah, again. I mean, there's been I've seen things everywhere. There's um, articles in the UK and Canada. Um, I don't know. It's honestly been international news it's God crazy almighty. so i mean so i mean you, you and your your husband had to have a discussion like how are we going to handle this are we going to go all all out or are we just going to kind of go retreat and how did you how did you arrive at this conclusion because clearly you chose the former which for the record i think is the right move of course what the hell do i know but how did you guys arrive there yeah i mean there was really only, a, you know, those two options, and it's like, okay, we can take it all down and hide from this, and then, you know, it was all for nothing. Um, I lose my job. You know, I don't even know. Um, he actually got fired. I don't know if I told you guys no, about that. No, your husband got fired? <laughs> yeah. The hell did he get fired for? Um, he was approached by his boss, and, and they just said that, they felt that he couldn't be focused while uh, working on power lines with all this going on. Huh. Why would he want to work on power lines yeah. if you're making seven point two yeah, million exactly. a year? I mean, Doug, you'd keep doing the show. Absolutely, I would. Yeah, Thank you. But in this case, the power hey, lines. He got a standing ovation from his. Yeah, when he walked in, mates. he got a standing ovation. Then he got whacked. Right. Exactly. He probably yeah. doesn't care. No, probably got a nice severance package to right, go in with all the money he's making now. Now, now, Lisa Ann is, is somebody that... Uh, yeah, you've watched when Lisa Ann's on with us, right, Brianna? Um, I don't know if I've seen that. Are yet. you? Fam I assume you're familiar with her? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. for real, she ran an agency, and I'm dead serious. I, I doesn't have to be me who connects you. I don't need to be, like, getting your number or anything like that. I guess somebody on the show has to have it. But, I <laughs> mean, for real, it, mi it might be in your best interest to connect with her. I mean, they're, she's kind of like in the Jenna Jameson category in the game, except she's, I mean, she's a very smart businesswoman. It's up to yeah, hell. I don't care. Sure. You guys do what you got to do. Yeah, it's I not my, my business. But I really don't want to see anybody. Uh, I mean, you guys are kind of flying blind going out to L.A., and now you're sitting in a position of ridiculous leverage. I mean, you, mm -hmm. hell, you might be the, in a spot here. I where can you're talk to Lisa Ann and see if she'll talk to you, and then I can just give you guys each number. But somebody Tim can take care of for you, who is another That's... person I think she should talk oh, to. Oh, okay, yeah. Kate. I'm friends with Caden Cross. Yeah, yeah, Caden Cross might be. Yeah, that. Yeah, Kate, Kate, Kate and Lisa Ann are two of the... She's Sharpest. doing and she's doing everything now. She's directing, has her own company, and winning awards left and right, and doing things that nobody else in the industry has ever done. Caden and Lisa Ann are kind of yeah. cut from the same cloth with regards to business savvy. So, um, I mean, are you? Are, so, what is what is the stage name again? So I are you changing that to just go with my real name? Like it's already a great out there. Move. I think that's my, a great move. My face and my my real name is. All around the world, so it's like, why would I continue to use the stage name? <laughs> so you're just going, so like if people search Brianna Coppage on OnlyFans, you pop up now? Yes. Yep. All right. And, and somebody texted in, it's up to $45 a month? So I have two pages. One is um, a PPV page where you have to pay for certain posts, and then I have a no paid page where you get access to everything and that one is the $45 one. And how many followers you got on that one? <laughs> um, I mean, that one's new. I started it a couple days ago, so I don't know. There's probably like a thousand on there. So that's 45000 a month just on that. So we're at 500 k just on that. Yeah, what, are, what are you doing here, Doug? Sure. I mean, it's time for us to show our holes. I hate, my job. Some clothing. I hate my job more every day. <laughs> I mean, this is unbelievable. I'm so, I can't tell you how happy I am for you. 
Yeah, it's been. It's and, been I'd, crazy. and I'd love to know the, the person I want to interview actually is that MF or who thought he was going to take you out. That's who mm -hmm. I want to talk to. You know, I know. like yeah, F I'd that guy. Well. How does he feel now? <laughs> F off. God. Right. Oh, that's so good. Now, I made this offer to Erica Swings and her husband they were in last week. I'll make you guys the same offer. Can't wait to hear this. Uh, I don't want to participate. But if you guys want to do something to bring in some viewers, which I'm sure many of people would want to see me do this, oh sure, uh, is just be the uh, just be the guy in the corner who you guys berate, and I just sit there with my clothes on and just take it while you call me small and a loser. You just want to watch. And a lot of people are into the berating and the cucking. So if you want me to be the cuck in one of your scenes, I can do that for you. That's so fun. I'll have to talk to Saul about that. Okay. Oh. I'm sure you will. Uh, Rihanna, Jackson, and I got to go get ripped on by some people down the hallway, so uh, we got to wrap this up. Congratulations, Congratulations to you. We are super happy for you. You are a multi, multi forget about a millionaire, multi, multi-millionaire. I mean, my God. Keep doing you. Keep doing what you do. You're having fun at it. Yes, uh, Doug, little, life, little mm -hmm. life advice on the way out the door. Yeah, it's nice to get the 20% that she promised us. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Thank you, Brianna. So much. All is, right, Doug. thanks, Gal. I mean, holy crap! Well, seven point two million. Good for her. Rarely on this program am I floored. It's